Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. In my Barrex video, I said that we're about to see a ton of these animal projects that produce tokens, and I haven't been disappointed. We're seeing dogs, we're seeing ducks, we're seeing squirrels, dinosaurs, dragons, apes, a ton of different animals. Now, not all of them are gonna make it. Some of them are gonna suck. Some of them are gonna make good flips, and some of them are going to make long-term holds. Now, my strategy is to just get whitelist for as many projects as possible, and then filter out which ones you wanna buy and which ones you wanna pass on later. Now, I know projects get mad at me for saying that. I know communities get mad at me for saying that but the number one goal here is to make money and along the way you find good communities you make friends but don't listen to all the hodl and paper hands talk your financial situation is very different from everyone else's but you do what's best for you because 99 percent of the projects that we're seeing every single day are not going to make it so today i'm doing all the dino and dragon projects and then in my next video it's going to be all about apes and then next week i'm going to have a bunch of crypto and gaming nft videos because that's really what i've been looking at in my spare time now keep in mind everything i say in this video is just my opinion you're going to like different projects than the ones that i like i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research because i will make mistakes i will be wrong so you have to decide what's best for you our first project is rexamons now i did manage to get 100 whitelist spots for my patreon I like how straight out the gate they had a website before they even had a Discord. If we hop on over to their roadmap, they're going to have a DAO, they're going to have breeding, staking, evolutions, as well as a Rex token. You'll also notice that all of these are animated, and that's not just for the legendary ones. 100% of the NFTs in this project are going to be animated. Now, these projects are on IMX, so you're not going to have those gas fees, but having experienced The Last Dragons, which we're going to discuss in my look back video this weekend, as well as Battle Cats, I do have two fears when it comes to Immutable X. My first fear is that there isn't that much volume on IMX. Now this can all change in a few weeks when VV is available on IMX, as well as when Becker and Elio start to pump the platform. Then I do think we're going to see a lot more traction. The second fear is really due to the last dragons with any project that has breeding or a token, because doing that on Immutable X is really not straightforward. However, Rexamons has locked down the developer from Moody Crows, which was the first collection on IMX. It fully sold out, so he clearly knows what he's doing, and that does give me a lot of confidence that they will be able to deliver on their roadmap now they have not yet announced an official date the price is going to be 0.06 ethereum and the supply is on the high side for any project with the dow and with breeding it is 8888 as for the team i did have a call with three of them i appreciate it when founders take the time to answer my questions and they do plan on doxing themselves as for their whitelist you can win art contests you can win the scavenger hunts but some of the coolest things i've seen is they have a casino where if you win enough tokens you could purchase an item that can give you the right to to earn a whitelist spot as well as many games like rock paper scissors where you can battle against other players in order to get whitelist and all this is really refreshing when i see so many useless invite games so much grinding and their discord is growing quickly and organically they launched a few days ago and they're already above 6,000 members the next project on our list just came on my radar we don't have too much information on it yet their genesis collection is going to be 325 nfts and then they're going to do a second drop of 3,000 nfts now there is is currently no roadmap at least it's not available on their twitter however it does seem like they're trying to make a partnership with cyber kongs to try to make a kongs versus godzilla game will cyber kongs bite is the real question now, if you want in on this project they do have a secret discord they're going to be opening it up today november 11th for 30 minutes as well as tomorrow november 12th for 30 minutes now you don't need to camp out their twitter they give you the exact time this is going to be happening at 7 p.m Eastern. But other than that, I don't know very much about this project. All I have to go by is a few tweets and their bio. I'm not in the Discord, so it's very difficult for me to evaluate the legitimacy of this project. The next project is Cosmic Wyverns. Now, this project is the one where I see people using their art as their profile pictures the most. And I can see why. I really like how these pieces look. They remind me a lot of Kaiju Kings, especially the baby. They also have a good price at 0.05 Ethereum for a very low supply of 3,500. The NFTs will produce five breath tokens per day which will be used in breeding evolution ascending launchpad access and of course they're going to have a DAO. and they also mentioned they want to go after partnerships with different games they currently have a partnership with amethaverse it is going to be a play to earn mmorpg on binance smart chain and the team is fully doxxed i believe one of the founders for this project is now a developer for cosmic wyverns so i guess that's how they worked out that partnership however like i said i don't know too much about this game their beta is going to be available in q1 of 2022 so cosmic wyverns will not have a 
public sale. They're doing just like Kaiju Kings, where all the supply is going to be sold to whitelist or OGs. As you can see, there are still some whitelist spots left, although some of them are reserved for, I believe, giveaways. So there's roughly 86 spots left. I don't have time to hang out in these different discords, so I do not have whitelist for this one. However, I do expect it to do very well. They have a great combo of a low price and a low supply, as well as a very high demand. As there are over 30,000 people in their discord, they did not do any invite games. All three of their general chats move very quickly, and this is probably the one I hear talked about the most, so I do expect it to outperform Barex, which currently has a floor of 0.3 Ethereum, which would be a 6x for this project. The next project on our list is Cyber Komodos. Now, this project is for sure going to get a lot of flack if they haven't already for looking a lot like Kaiju Kings. If we compare them side by side, you can see the only real difference is that there's some additional scales on the side and the snout seems to have been extended to look a lot more like a Komodo dragon. In my opinion, it kind of looks like an alligator or a crocodile. But if we take the adult and the baby and compare it to a baby Kaiju King, they look very similar. Now, in their announcements, they pretty much acknowledge this. They also mentioned that they had a DDoS attack, which I thought might be the reason that the chat is very slow. But even if we scroll back to yesterday morning, you could see most of the chat is just people saying, hi, good morning, what's up, and asking about whitelist. So I do not see much substance in this chat. Now, there is no website. There is no roadmap. They do mention breeding with a deer token. However, based solely on what I see on the Discord, I would not invest in this. There's really just not enough going on in the chat. And this really looks to me like it is a one man team being Cyber Komodo because I don't see any mods. I don't see any other founders. And there really just isn't enough substance in this Discord for me to want to invest in it. So either it would really have to pick up and there would have to be a ton of hype, in which case I would just try to flip it, or I'm gonna need the founder or founders to dox themselves in order for me to feel comfortable investing in this in the long term. So again, I'm not trying to fight this project. This is just my personal opinion when comparing it to the hundreds of other projects dropping every day that I can invest my money in. Next on our list is Digi Dragons. Now I am digging the art for these dragons. The legendary ones look great, and even the base models look really good. Now the Genesis collection is going to be 1500 supply and their discord is almost at 10,000 users. They do plan on doubling their supply in December as they're going to gift every Genesis holder a hatchling, but you will be able to evolve twice using their fire token for which a Genesis holder earns five per day passively. Now the founder is fully docs. He released this video the other day holding a flamethrower. In their roadmap, they do mention that they're building a castle for the sandbox and I'm just really digging the art for this project. I do think it's going to do very well. There's only 1500 available. There's almost 10k in the discord. There's their price is 0.05 Ethereum and the founder is doxxed. So me personally, I would really try to get whitelist for this one if you haven't already. The release date is only in December on December 6th. So you still do have plenty of time. Next, we have Ryukai. I'm really loving the art for this one. I think I'm going to just say that for every single project. I love pixel art. So the art for all of these is really good. And you're also going to be able to win fusion cores by participating in their discord, which is going to produce 0.2 of their FZN token daily. Now, this is going to be 100% whitelist. There is no invite contest there is no discord grinding in order to be able to mint one of the 3578 supply you are going to need to achieve the portal alpha roll there's only 465 people who have achieved this and if you reach the legendary portal hunter you could mint up to five nfts now instead of breeding you're going to be able to summon these and there's going to be a max supply of 8888 so they have a very similar supply to cosmic wyverns roughly around 3500 except here the price is a bit higher at 0.07 777 ethereum next we have dormant dragons and just like cosmic wyverns i see a ton of people using this art as their profile pictures and i can see why the art for this project is amazing the amount of effort that went into making these can really be appreciated and i really like how these pieces look. Their Discord has over 26,000 members. They removed it now, but yesterday they had a verified tab and it said that only half of them were verified. Now the roadmap, of course, has a token. You are gonna get 10 smoke tokens per day. Now they do intend on building a game. At first, it's gonna be a social space. And then while they develop the game, they're gonna have a ton of mini games inside that game. However, you know what I think of teams when they say they wanna build a game. They don't have a demo. They don't have a white paper. They don't have a game developer on staff. They don't have any concrete timelines or dates and the team is completely 
anonymous. When I say they're anonymous, I'm not trying to say I think this is a rug pull. If anything, I do not think this is a rug pull. My fear here is that it's extremely difficult to make a game and it's even more difficult to make a game that people actually want to play. So there's two ways you can look at this project. One is looking at it like a token generating project. And then as an added bonus, they're attempting to build a game. The other way I look at it is a project that's promising a game, in which case I have to compare it to all of the other gaming projects. And there are so many options where they have concrete plans, they have developers on staff, a game that's already in production, or even just a demo that they can show us of their game. Now, if we forget about the game and we just compare this on a token to token level project, they do have the second initial supply than any project on this list at 5,000 NFTs, and they are the most expensive at 0.08 Ethereum. Now, I am conflicted about this project because as I said, there does seem to be a lot of hype behind it, and I see a ton of people using them as their profile picture. So despite all the negative things I have to say about the game development, I do think short term, this project is gonna do well. And again, the strategy is try to get whitelist for as many of these as possible, and then make your decision on the day of presale, which for this one is November 23rd, and their public launch is on November 24th. Next on our list, we have Project Draca, and just like Dormant Dragons, which the art looks fairly similar to, I really like the pieces in this collection. It's almost as if they had the same same artist and there is a lot of detail and time that went into creating these. Now, one of the founders is Doxed. He has a YouTube channel with 60,000 subscribers. There's currently no website. We do have a roadmap. However, all the roadmap says is they're gonna be doing the initial drop of 999 in November. Then they're gonna have a second drop in December. And all of the Genesis holders are gonna receive a free to claim hatchling. So you're just gonna to have to pay gas. And finally, they mentioned phase three, unlock the cure. I'm really not sure what they're planning here because they redacted it. So it's kind of a secret. But yeah, other than that, we really don't have much information on this project. I'm happy that they're not doing invite games. In order to get whitelist, you are going to have to interact in their Discord as well as win their giveaways. There's already 7,500 people in their Discord, and the Genesis drop is only 999. So although the price has not been announced, I assume it's going to be roughly 0 0.07, 0 0.08 Ethereum, and this project is dropping in November. Next on our list, we have Reunation, and this one is about to hit 100,000 members. I remember when they first popped up, this thing blew up everybody was sending it to each other because unfortunately they did do invite games their art is very detailed it's not my favorite in all of the 10 projects however it's nice to see somebody putting a lot of effort into their nfts i think part of the hype is because one of the founders is a cyberconks holder and they did create this teaser trailer for their project now i never ended up getting whitelist for this one because i can't put this stuff in my name i can't put this in my description or else it looks like i'm endorsing their project the roadmap kind of confuses me phase one and phase two are just your typical launch discord all that phase three is where you see the plans it doesn't seem that concrete they're going to launch their 1000 generation one and then after that they mentioned there's going to be a second collection they talk about possible partnerships with companies possible clubhouse their phase four is literally just a copy of three quarters of phase three and then phase five is completely useless so we'll just ignore that now i don't know the supply of the second collection the first collection gen one is going to be 1000 so they really didn't have to do invite games because now there's almost 100,000 people in their discord there's only 1,000 available so 99% of people are not going to be able to get their hands on one of these nfts i'm not trying to fud or anything i just feel like i'm missing a piece of the puzzle here for a project that has 100,000 people in their discord i do expect to see a lot more detail in their roadmap on what their plans are and how they're gonna get this done. I assume we're gonna get a lot more detail once their website launches. So I will definitely check that out and revisit this project. But for the moment, to me, this just seems like a ton of hype based on the 100,000 people in their Discord and with 10 options on this list, just because I didn't make whitelist for this one, you know, I can just choose one of the others. The last project on our list is one that I've spoken about in the past, and that is IMX Dino. As you guessed it, this project is on IMX, just like Reximons. However, this is half the supply of Reximons. The supply for this is 4,444, but they are on the pricier side of all the projects in this list at 0.08 Ethereum. Now they're gonna have your typical breeding. They're gonna have a DAO. They're gonna have a daily passive token. They do mention that their babies will have a very important utility to the future of their project. However, since my last video, they have not released their website. They have not released a roadmap. So I'm just waiting for those things to come out before I talk about this project in more 
detail. So there's over 600 spots still available if you want to make whitelist. They are approaching 10,000 users in their Discord, so I suggest you do it sooner than later if this is a project that you're interested in, and their launch date is scheduled for sometime in November. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you made it to the end, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'm giving away 0.1 Ethereum to my subscribers, so if you want to qualify to win, you have to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, retweet my pinned tweet, and tag one friend in the comments down below. And that giveaway is gonna happen at 20,000 subscribers. If you wanna get early alpha, if you wanna join the live streams, if you wanna get free whitelists, consider joining the Patreon, link in the description down below. If you just wanna join the Discord and have fun, it's absolutely free. I try to check all the channels multiple times per day. So if you tag me, if you leave a comment, I will answer you. If you wanna buy crypto in Canada and get free money when you make your first trade, links in the description down below. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.